Hello everyone. Welcome to my Friday Weekly Melt. And I have three candles in front of you today. One I just started to light. So I'm going to get right into this. I started melting two days ago a Tiffany candle, the little um, four-ounce candle. I got a pack of six, and this one I believe is, in, yep, Caramel Apple Cinnabon. And this is a great scent. I love the apple combination with the Cinnabon. The Cinnabon is not too overpowering for me. It's not like a ground cinnamon or anything like that. It's just a nice, sweet Cinnabon scent. Almost, You almost get that little bit of icing in it, and then you get the apple note. I can smell it in my sunroom just fine. Well, my family room, I should say, without a problem. I really enjoy it. However, this I just lit this probably about a half an hour ago, and I have not yet gotten an even burn and I've burned this twice already and the first day I melted it for about five hours so as you can see on this side here I'm just not getting an even pool of wax so I'm hoping today I can get that even see over there it was even but up in the front no so I'm going to have to see how this works because I really like the idea of the four ounce jars to try out scents before I get a large candle but if they do not burn evenly, I don't know if I'll repurchase them. But I do like the scent. It is really good. In the background over here is my Village Candle in Lemon Pound Cake. And I don't have that lit right now because it would not go good with the candles I have going. See? I'm working on it. And it's burning evenly. No problems whatsoever. I have to say that the scent throw on this candle so far is amazing. I really lucked out. It's a strong lemon pound cake scent. I can smell it in my kitchen, which is an open area. And you just get a nice, you actually smell what's in the picture. You smell the like the vanilla kind of pound cake. Cause pound cake is like a vanilla -y kind of scent. And then it's almost like having lemon icing drizzled over the whole top. It is so good. It is nice sweet lemon scent with that pound cake. It is an awesome bakery scent and I am savoring that candle. I absolutely love it. Love it. If I find another one, I definitely pick it up because I have had really good luck with that. Very strong scent well. And next, I just lit a few minutes ago Granny's Country Candles Candy Corn because I, like I said in the other video, I want to test out the candy corn, which candy corn can be a soft scent. So I want to see about the candles because her candles tend to be really strong. And I want you to see this before it completely melts down. Those candy corns are going bye-bye. Oh, it's such a pretty candle. You know, I really hated to even melt this because it's so pretty. Nice three layers there, as you can see. Love it. 26 ounces of yummy wax. So I will let everybody know how that scent throw is. It will definitely be in a video next week to show you. And I will take some pics on how it is melting on my Facebook page. I'll just let everybody know by pictures how well it's doing, if it's an even pool of wax, how the scent throw is because I have not burned one of her pillow candles yet. And I am really excited too because it's an awesome deal. Now I'm going to go into my tart. The Bathing Garden. I melted lavender martini, thinking this would be great in my bedroom. It smells awesome on cold centro. It's really pretty. I love the colors. Purple swirled in. It's really nice. It's it's super strong. You get a lot of lavender. You get hit with lavender, and then you get that that martini. It's like a lime scent. I smell like a lime scent in there. But when I put it in my bedroom, I used one tart. It was so strong and so overpowering, I had to pour it out. So unfortunately, I cannot melt this. It's just way too strong for me. I mean, it's great. It smells great. It's just really too, too strong for me. And that was with one tart. Her lemon cheesecake. Yum. And this is so good. Oh, my goodness. This definitely smells uh, like a very authentic lemon cheesecake. I almost get like a lemon meringue kind of scent. I almost get a sweet meringue scent to this. 
So the lemon to me is almost like a lemon meringue, and then you get creamy cheesecake. It is super good. It's amazing. If you love lemons, this is perfect, perfect. Very, very sweet with creamy notes to it. I used this in my family room, and I believe it was in my 24-watt warmer, and it was super strong. And I waited, though. See, I knew that a lot of people said this was a softer scent. I let this cure for three weeks before I melted it. The longer you let soy wax sit, the more central you're going to get out of it. So I know you might be anxious to melt things, and if you do, you will get some scent, but you'll only get like three hours of scent throw out of that wax if it's soy and you don't let it cure. So the longer you let it sit, the much stronger the scent is going to be. And I have to say, I think it was three weeks to almost a month, and I got a very strong scent throw. It was through, in my family room, which has cathedral ceilings. It was strong in there, and it lingered into my kitchen. I loved the scent, and it lasted me all day and into the evening. It was amazing. So let the, the softer scents in soy form, let them cure lo the longest so you can get the best scent throw out of them. Granny's Country Candles. This is pumpkin apple butter that was in... This was one of last month's scents of the month. This is a very light scent. Very light, and you get more apple butter than pumpkin. Very slight note of pumpkin. I tried this in my 14-watt warmer and my 24-watt warmer, and both it was a light scent, so I enjoyed it. However, it wasn't that strong. I probably should put two cubes in at a time, and I didn't. I'm the type of person that only uses one cube and says, oh, it's not strong enough, or it's soft, or I, I never put two cubes in, and I'm going to have to start forcing myself to put two cubes in if I want to get a great scent throw. And with this one, I probably have to throw two cubes in to get a decent scent throw because it's just not really strong. But it's more of an apple butter with a slight note of pumpkin. Caramel pralines. Love the scent. Used this in my family room one time in my 24-watt warmer, and it was strong. I loved this. Again, it went into my kitchen. It is just a nuttiness with caramel. Delicious. It's, it's a staple. Seriously, it's really a staple for many people who love caramel scents and nuts. It's just a really perfect scent. It's kind of got that cozy scent to it because it's got the caramel mixed in with the pralines. Amazing. And it was strong with just one cube and it lasted a long time for me. And last for grannies is candy apple. And this one is not strong. Look, I made a mess out of this. This smells really good. It's a nice, sweet candy apple. But it's light. I used two cubes, and it still was not super strong. It was a medium scent throw. It wasn't a strong scent throw. So you would probably need to put three cubes in to get a really good, strong scent throw from Candy Apple. It is a nice scent, but fair warning, it is light. You do need to use more than two cubes to get a strong scent. Spice Vanilla. I wanted to try this out for my son in his bedroom, and I only used a little bit. And this was strong. I don't have to go into detail. It's a nice spice vanilla. You get cinnamon. You get sugar. You get nutmeg in there with a nice vanilla scent. And it is strong. All I needed was a little bit. And it just lingered throughout my house. This was in my office. And with the door open, it smelled amazing. But the office was, was just, it smelled heavenly. It smelled like nice vanilla, rich, creamy spices. A good one. Next is Lasting Scent Candle Citrus Mint. And I'm not having luck with this scent. I love it. It's crisp with the citrus and mint. It's very crisp and refreshing. You get a nice citrus note and you get that nice strong mint. However, when you melt it, and look, I haven't melted too much. I used this twice. So I almost used, I used about half of this tart. And as you know, if many of you know, these tarts are strong. So usually you only need a little bit. And I used it in my 14-watt warmer. And the scent throw is not strong. It's a light scent throw. And I hate to throw the whole thing in there because I don't know if it would be too overpowering, but 
a fourth of this just isn't cutting it for me. I'm very disappointed. So the next time when I use it, I'm just going to finish the. I'm going to pop the whole thing in, which will be half, and see if I get a strong scent out. I love the scent. It's amazing. It reminds me of a citrus minty gum, too. But I'm not getting a strong scent. And this is one that I like to melt. This is a scent I like to melt while going to sleep or trying to relax. So I'm just really surprised. When a cold sniff, it is super strong. But, of course, I'm only putting a fourth in. So I will have to try the whole half tart and let you know if I got a strong scent so after doing that. I tried Fragrant Memories Candle Shop Juicy Jelly Bean, and I melted this three different times. And I have to say I'm getting now what other people are showing me on YouTube, where down here it's really soft and pushing in, but it does not affect the, the scent at all. There's no waxy scent. This is a very strong, almost like a cherry kind of jelly bean. It's nothing like Jumpin' Jelly Bean from Scentsy. That is amazing. This cannot compare. But this is almost like a cherry or fruit punch kind of jelly bean. I wouldn't know if it's, I wouldn't say if it's a jelly bean. I get like kind of like a fruit punch scent and it is strong. But it's not what I expected. I was expecting like a really nice jelly bean. But it's like a fruit punch scent. Strong too. I have to rave about Busy Bee Candles Berry Brulee. I had this going in my... Actually, I've been using a lot of these. I'm sorry. With my gran, with my g granny's um, caramel pralines, it was not my 24-watt warmer. It was in my party light warmer that I have. It's a square one that has interchangeable fronts, and I put it away because I don't like square tops. I like the round ones. They melt better. But it's a lower watt, watt warmer, and I wanted to try it. And that's what helped with these scents to last longer, was definitely that warmer. Now, Berry Brulee I used in my Party Light warmer. And, oh, my goodness, this scent must have lasted me two to three days. This is amazing. It is a great berry scent mixed in with the sweet caramel sugary brulee. I highly recommend this if you love brulee scents and berries. It was amazing, and in a low watt warmer, lasted three days. I cannot say enough good things about this scent, so I am going to save this last one. It came in a pack of two, and it's just heaven. On cold sniff, you don't think anything great of it, but while melting it, all these nice berries come out, and that brulee just makes it so Delicious. So I highly recommend Busy Bee Candles Berry Brulee. It was awesome. Now empty. Finished off in my son's bedroom, Scentsy's Happy Birthday. And this is just a great scent. It smells like, to me, it smells like a vanilla cake. It's really good. I love this, love this, love this. I will always purchase this scent. So don't let it go anywhere, Scentsy, because that is perfect. It's especially good in a little kid's room or for anybody who loves bakery scents. Amazing and strong. I finished off Better Homes and Gardens Wild Berry Cheesecake. Love this scent. Now I'm done with it. I don't have to feel bad. I don't want to leave any summer scents from Better Homes and Gardens or any clamshell touch for summer scents, you know, sitting till next year. But this is really a strong scent. Many of you know it's just a very nice, oh, my goodness, it's a very nice berry scent. You smell blueberries, you smell raspberries and blackberries, and then you get, like, a creamy note of cheesecake. I love this. This and sugared kiwi melon are my favorites for the summer. Amazing. Very, very strong. I finished the bag off of Gracie Joe's Lemon Pound Cake. Not strong. Not too happy with it. I found many other companies that have strong lemon pound cake, like this candle behind me is amazing. I would not repurchase from Gracie Joe's anymore. I'm just showing you I finished it. It was all right in a small bedroom. I had to use about four of the little square cubes, and that should have sent it up a small room, and it really did not do that good, and it kind of had a weird smell after a while, so I would not recommend that, and I really wouldn't recommend Gracie Joe's. That's just my nose, though. So you have to try it out for yourself. This is Cross Creek 
Country Candles, and Berry Bruna Banana. And this wasn't as strong as a lot of their tarts are. A lot of their tarts are super strong. But this was good. It had a lot of berry with a hint of banana. And it did smell amazing. I put this in my kitchen area. So it was a medium scent for my kitchen area. In a smaller room, it would have been a strong scent. It was just a nice berry mix with a little bit of banana. I wish it was stronger on the banana because I love banana scents. But I did enjoy this. It was just a nice, sweet berry scent with a little bit of banana. Next is Nina's Kitchen Melt in Mai Tai Twist. And this was strong. It's just got a lot of fruity notes to it. You can definitely tell it's a drink. It was not my favorite, though. I would not repurchase it. I'm not that crazy about the scent. It was just a lot of berries. It was a very, very, very drink. Very sweet. It was strong, though. So I would say, I would give it it's strong. It just wasn't really for me to it. And it was okay, but I wasn't crazy about it. And now my Tiffany candles. I tried Strawberry Passion. Everybody's raving about Strawberry Passion. I've told you mine smell like... Um, plastic. And I put this in my son's bedroom, figuring, okay, I'll be safe to put it in there. Maybe it won't come out. That plastic scent won't come out when I'm melting it. Oh, it did. I went in there after half an hour, and all I smelled was strawberry and plastic. I don't get like a cotton candy note. It wasn't a good scent for me. It was just straight up plastic with an artificial strawberry. It did not smell good at all. I don't know if I'm getting a bad batch or my nose just really doesn't like the scent, but I did not like it at all. I, I wish I did because everybody that I see that has purchased this scent or got it as a sample loves it, and it sounds amazing. Strawberry and cotton candy, but I don't get any cotton candy, and I get a very heavy plastic scent. So I'm so sad about that. I don't know why it's happening to me, but my nose just is like, no way. Then I finished off my creamy fruit slices, and I have to say that at the beginning, I think I mentioned this before, I wasn't too crazy about this scent because it's more of a candy scent, but the last, that third tart that I melted, I really enjoyed it. I think it kind of grew on me. It's not real creamy. It's not like a creamy vanilla mixed in with fruits because that's what I expected. I still get a sweet candy note to it. But it is nice, and I will repurchase this in the summer because the more I melted it, the more I really enjoyed it. And lastly, I was in the mood to try pumpkin spice zucchini bread. I don't know if my nose is not starting to like zucchini bread or it's just not ready for zucchini, zucchini bread at that time. And when I first popped it in, I loved it because it's a nice, strong pumpkin spice scent, and then you get that zucchini bread note to it. But after three hours, I was really getting sick of it, and I think it was the zucchini bread. I don't know if I'm just not ready to put the zucchini the zucchini mixes in yet. It's maybe not cold enough for me. Normally, I can melt zucchini bread all year round, but I didn't. I enjoyed this for three hours, and then my nose was like, "That's enough. It's just too heavy." It's a great scent, though. It's awesome. If you're a zucchini lover, definitely pick up pump, pumpkin spice but I don't know if I'll purchase this. This was a sample because it just was really heavy for me, and I wasn't really enjoying the zucchini blend as I usually do. But it's still a great scent. That's my nose. Just wasn't in the mood. And that is everything that I melted, and hopefully I did a pretty good job on not making this video super long. I almost forgot to talk about Granny's Country Candles changing seasons because I have this in my other video for the Friday-only sale that she has going on. But not everybody will probably watch that video, and I want to put this in. This scent is amazing. I went on about it in my other video. I love this scent. It is perfect for the fall. And the scent description reads in this, I think it's Macintosh apples, tart cranberries, spices. It's amazing. I just have to let you, t let you know, I put this in my party light, warmer, which is a lower watt warmer in my sunroom. This lasted well over 24 hours. It was strong with one cube. And you could smell the Macintosh. 
but it almost smells like you were outside. It had some spice notes to it, and it's not a cinnamon spice. I don't get a cinnamon spice. I get the tart cranberries. I get apples, notes in there, some spices, but it's not, like I said, a heavy cinnamon spice or anything like that. It's just a really amazing scent. I highly recommend this for fall, and I want this in a candle form because, like I said, our candle forms, her candles are strong. This tart was really strong. And this one was so far for the fall scents I've tried. My absolute favorite, favorite fall scent right now is Changing Seasons. Give it a try if you're going to make a purchase with Granny's Country Candles because it is an amazing scent. If you like apples and cranberries with some spices, you're going to love this because it is strong and it just screams fall. Look at that picture. It's adorable. I had to put this in because I am loving it that much. Thanks for watching.